Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and improvements available with Windows 10 build 21.286. As a reminder, builds in the dev channel are no longer tied to any specific release of Windows 10, so it is not clear when these changes will be available to users. However, some of these changes are already expected to arrive in the next major update of the operating system. Now let's have a closer look at the new changes currently available in the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. Perhaps the most significant visual update in this release is the news and interest widget that Microsoft have added to the taskbar. So when you install this bill or a higher release, you will see in the bottom right corner that you get a new icon that it shows the current weather for your location, but it also opens this new experience divided in different in different groups of tiles that it gives you quick access to weather, trending news, sports, and more. You can scroll down to find other stories that you might like. If you click the see more news button, that will take you to the msn.com website where you can find more news and stories that you might want to read. On each story, you can also open the menu so you can share it, save it for later, and different options to start customizing the experience. And some widget, you can also just hover over and you get this button so you can hide that story from the experience. And they even gives you a button to personalize the fee or undo the action. There is also a refresh button and there is also a menu that allows you to connect your Microsoft account to get a more tailored experience and access the uh, privacy settings. And you also get options to send feedbacks and tips and tricks. If this new widget isn't for you, you can right click the taskbar and then from the new news and interest menu, you can select the hide option. The idea with this new feature is to keep you more on your device instead of you having to open the phone to pick into news and other information throughout the day. So, and that was just a quick look at the news and interest experience on Windows 10. One more thing that I wanted to add is that in my installation, I only get one column of information, but as the Microsoft announcement shows, there is another variant that shows two columns of information. And apparently that's not something that you can customize. Another significant change with Windows 10 build 21286 is the integration of the storage spaces settings into the settings app. In the past, that was a feature that you needed to manage through control panel, but now it's no longer the case. Since the storage settings has a new page called manage storage spaces that allows you to manage everything that has to do with storage spaces through the settings app. So the best way to show you the new experience is by creating a pool in a space. So to do that, we're going to click the create a storage pool and a storage space where that brings up to this page where you can specify the name for the pool. And here's where we select the drive that will participate in the pool. So for this demo, I'm just going to click available disks. So that selects all the disks available and then we click the create button. So we just created a pool and now we're going to create a space inside of that pool. To do that, we're just going to specify a name for the space. And for the size, you can leave the default but you can actually use a larger capacity. And for residency, we have the different options the same way as when using control panel, we get the simple option, which offers no resiliency. You have the two-way mirror, three-way mirror party or dual party. For this demo, I'm just going to select this option and I'm going to click the create button. Now on that space, we're going to create a volume. And for that, we also need to specify a label. I'm just going to type data select a drive letter and for file system we're just going to use mtfs there is also an advanced option which is optional that allows you to mount this new volume as a folder uh, you can also change the allocation unit size or enable compression once you selected all your settings just click the format button to create that volume on your computer so as you can see we have now a pool and a space and we can expand the physical disks to view all the disks that are participating in the pool. You can always add more disks and you can actually go to the properties of that drive to see more information and you can create additional spaces 
or you can go to the properties of that space and you can extend it by adding more drives. You can take it off offline and you can delete it. Just to show you that we created and that is actually reflected on the operating system, I'm just going to open File Explorer. And when we go to this PC, we're going to see that we have a volume that has been created through storage spaces. You can also select the pool and you will see options to access the property. Will that give you more details about the pool? And you can actually rename the pool if that's something that you want. There is also a optimize button and that is there. So when you add a new drive, you can click that button and the system will better utilize the new space with the new drive. But the daily basis, you're not going to use it. If you want to delete a space in a pool, you will have to select the space and then go to properties and then we delete the space. And before we can actually delete the pool, you need to remove the drives individually. And as you can see, we deleted the pool and the space. And that's just a quick overview on how the new storage space settings looks like in the settings app for Windows 10 build 21.286. In addition, this flight also includes a few changes when using the set time zone automatically option. For example, when a time zone change is detected, you will now receive a notification. That notification will inform you of a high confidence location change and will display an option to open the date and time settings page, as you can see right here. However, if a low confidence location change is detected and there is only one administrator on the computer, Windows 10 will now send a notification asking you if you would like to update that time zone, as you can see right here. Although it's been available for a while with Windows 10 build 21286, Microsoft is announcing a new command prompt tool called Disks Usage. Which is a new file system tool that allows you to view and query drive space usage using command prompt. Using this tool, you can analyze and determine which files and folders are taking the most space that can help you at the time when you need to free up space, all through command line. The tool can scan the entire drive or a specific folder, which details about how much space each folder is using. Also, the tool supports many filtering and output customization options, as you can see it right here. Just to give you an example, I'm just going to see the disk usage for the download folder in my profile on this computer. So for that, I will have to use the disk usage command followed by the path of the folder. And we're just going to add the H option that, that will show us the size on a more readable format instead of just bytes, which are just long numbers. As you can see, we have all these folders and the size of each location. And that's pretty much all that's new with Windows 10 build 21286. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.